What's up YouTube? Oh, did I make you on? Ever since after holiday, I've had so much food. I can't stop eating. Wow. Because <laughs> all the good tasting food are so bad for you, and why are all the good food so disgusting and yucky? It's actually a really nice day today. Okay, so right now I'm getting changed to go to the gym because I've been slacking being active recently. <laughs> Look at this. Hopefully tone up a bit because I'm feeling really soft. You see it's weird, eating healthy takes a lot of commitment. <sighs> Whereas eating healthy doesn't, you know what I mean? Like there's f unhealthy food in every street corner. Whereas eating healthy, there's like rarely, rarely any healthy restaurants. And it's just the effort of making your own healthy food bad and taste disgusting. So a few of you actually said, well, quite a lot of you. Ricky, how did you lose so much weight? What is the secret? Honestly, there's not really much of a secret, but uh, I'll give you three tips. Okay, one, drink more water. Drink like three liters of water a day. You'll pee a lot, but that's how you know that your body's working. Like it's flushing away all the bad stuff in your body. That and it speeds up your metabolism. Two, obviously eat clean, eat healthy. And three, active, be more active. Losing weight is 80% diet and 20% going to a gym or being fit. So if you want to lose weight, eat better. Okay, so I'm going to a gym now. I'm unleashing these bad boys today. Fire! Sponsor me, Adidas! <laughs> Hopefully, my vlog will be uploaded whenever I come back from the gym. Good morning, mother. Going? Uh, going to the gym. Going to the gym? Where are you going? I'm going to Abbey Center again. Cody girl. Mm -hmm. Where's my kisses? Where's my kisses? Mm -hmm. Girl, you want to cut the hedges whenever I come back. Fun. So the gym there. Feel way, way better now. I feel good. Bye. 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 Oh, I hate doing this. That was a bit scary. Cut the cable. There. Finished. Damn, Daniel. I had to clean this shit up. So today is a good day. I'm just off the phone with the Australian bank trying to get my bank details and all sorted out for Australia. Ah, oh, things are getting so real now. I can't wait. I wonder what Australia has in mind for me. Hopefully I'll be sick. Guys, if you ever see me in Australia, don't be shy and not say hi. I would love to meet these guys. You know, hang out with me, talk, chill. No, no. Granny walks the bike with a boombox in her pocket. 
morning, mom. Here's your tea. Thank you. Oh, guys, I actually cannot wait for Australia. It'll be six months and counting. So, right this instant, I am taking my grand dog to Tesco's because my sister Lily is coming down later on and she wants to make sure that they're well fed. I'm a Jilla. Yeah, Australian mate, I need to get used to Australian people as much as possible. So what are the things I need to know to get Australian people to like me? Uh, the word bogan means kind of like the Irish equivalent of culture. Bogan. 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 Okay. What if I talk in Australia accent? The silver lining. Australians shorten every word. Afternoon. Arvo. McDonald's. Maccas. Maccas. Arvo. Dude, do you want to go to Maccas? In the Arvo? <laughs> Whenever I'm in Australia, I will be working, so uh, if he's good, you could, you could hook me up with a job, I don't know. Can your family hook me up with a job? They can hook you up with a job. Where do they work as? Business people. I like businessy stuff. A lot of these guys always ask for me to give more information about my trip to Australia. So basically, on February, I am going to Dubai for three days, and then after, going to Thailand for a month, just to travel about. And then after that, we're going to Australia for the rest of the year. Whenever we're in Australia, we will be hitting up the East Coast to like explore a bit first. And then I think we're going to stay in Sydney. So it's superstar the, right now. The party longer on the Gold Coast. Yeah. Well, yeah, guys, Chris is single, by the way. So uh, if you're single and ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> Get me all those. Chris is half Filipino and half white. Do you know any f Filipino words? Uh, Tagalog? Tagalog? Tagalog. Tagalog. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. What's that? I love you. <laughs> Mahal kita. Maganda. Matalika. Matalika. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Maganda. Maganda. Beautiful. Maganda. What's up, Maganda people? <laughs> Paket. Paket. Why? <laughs> Why? Baguette. Nanai. Can I have a ham and cheese baguette? Nanai means mother. Mother. Okay. Is Filipino like the Spanish of Asians? Yeah. The Spanish ruled Philippines for like 300 years. Did they? Yeah. Thanks for the history. <laughs> then the Americans ruled them for a while. Well, they freed them, apparently. So they were like, speak. A lot of their accents were American. Just got our hair cut there. Yay, got the fresh feet. Oh, but anyways, uh, we just got food there. We got sushi and ramen. Now I need job Chris home because I have work soon. Grim. Here you go, bro. It's good channel with you. Yeah, see you soon. Hey. There's a car coming. Here, I'll see you tonight, probably. Yeah, see you there, bro. Hi. Yo, what's up, guys? So I literally passed out after work. Couldn't even lift the camera to end the vlog. I really need to start editing my vlogs for a proper ending. Anyways, good day, God bless, love you. Alright guys, line up for Kai's special massage. <laughs> you you gotta just go blend in with my carpet? I know. Domo that is. It's really soft. 
Look at Belmo's face. And now it's so cute and squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant hair. Guys are staying here, and I'm in I'm food duties. Lindy says she's not eating, but I'm pretty sure that she's gonna eat. Can I have a chicken? <laughs> <laughs>